What are some of the most dangerous fish in the world? Here are several that you need to know about. There are more than 120 species of puffer fish worldwide. Most are found in tropical and subtropical ocean waters, but some species live in brackish, and even freshwater. They do not have scales, and usually have rough to spiky skin. They have four teeth that are fused together, into a beak-like form, which is able to crack open shells. They range in size from the one-inch long dwarf or pygmy puffer to the freshwater giant puffer, which can grow to three feet in length. They got their name from their ability to puff themselves up, with water and air, to many times their original size. They do this to discourage predators. If a predator manages to catch a puffer before it inflates, it won't feel lucky for long. Almost all puffer fish contain tetrodotoxin, a substance that makes them foul-tasting and often lethal to fish. To humans, tetrodotoxin is deadly. It is up to 1,200 times more poisonous than cyanide. There is enough toxin in one puffer fish to kill 30 adult humans, and there is no known antidote. Amazingly, the meat of some puffer fish is considered a delicacy in some places. In Japan, it is called fugu and is extremely expensive. It is only prepared by trained, licensed chefs. They know that one bad cut means almost certain death. In fact, many such deaths occur every year. The great white shark has become the subject of many movies, and is feared by many people. The species has been around for many millions of years, according to fossil records. It is a powerful predator that has been responsible for many unprovoked attacks on swimmers, divers, surfers, and even on kayaks and small boats. A great white shark bite may cause serious tissue and organ damage and even death. Some researchers think that attacks on humans may be as a result of the shark mistaking the human for its normal prey, such as seals or sea lions. Others think that the attacks may stem from curiosity or shortage of food. Shark attacks off the coast of Australia have a 60% fatality rate, while South Africa has a 20% fatality rate, and the US has a 7% fatality rate. Amazing drone footage taken in June 2020 by Zach Berman showed a great white shark circling surfers off the coast of Plettenberg Bay in South Africa. The Kandiru is a tiny catfish, which dwells in the depths of the Amazon River. It is amongst the tiniest vertebrates on the planet, and it is sometimes referred to as the toothpick fish due to its small size and slender shape. It is attracted by the ammonia and urea that is excreted from the gills of other fish. As the gills open, it darts in and secures itself on the gill cavity. It penetrates the gill and erects an umbrella-like array of spines to secure its position. It then proceeds to suck blood from its host. When it is full it retracts the spines and leaves the gills. Unfortunately, the damage to the host fish is often so severe that it does not survive. It is not uncommon for people swimming or bathing in the river to urinate while in the water, an action which creates tiny water currents that are rich in urea and ammonia, much like an exhaling fish. The kandiru can enter the urethra of both male and female swimmers, and proceed to attach itself to the host with its spines and suck blood. Unfortunately, it becomes so swollen with blood that it is not able to leave the host. The pain is excruciating, and because of the spines it is impossible to pull it out without surgical intervention. In the old days male victims often opted for castration rather than a lingering, and painful death from infection and hemorrhaging. Would you believe moray eels are actually fish? Moray eels are known for their slithering snake-like appearance, but they spend most of their time hiding in rocks and crevices. There are probably more than 80 species of moray eels, and they occur in all tropical and subtropical seas. Moray eels differ from other eels in that they have small rounded gill openings, and in general lack pectoral fins. Their skin is thick, smooth, and scaleless. The mouth is wide, and the jaws are equipped with strong, sharp teeth, which enable them to seize and hold their prey, usually other fish, and inflict serious wounds on their enemies, including humans. They usually attack humans only when disturbed, but then they can be quite vicious. Moray eels are usually vividly marked or colored. They generally do not exceed a length of about 5 feet. But one species, Thyrsoidea macrurus, of the Pacific, is known to grow to about 11 feet long. Murrays are eaten in some areas of the world, but their flesh is sometimes toxic and can cause illness or death. One species of moray, Murrina helena, found in the Mediterranean, was a great delicacy of the ancient Romans who cultivated them in seaside ponds. Stonefish are the most venomous fish known. They are found in tropical Indian and Pacific Oceans from the Red Sea to the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. They prefer to live in coral and rocky reefs. Stonefish are masters of camouflage. 
they can blend in perfectly with their surroundings, so that seeing them is very difficult. They usually sit motionless on the sea floor, waiting for their prey to come within striking distance. Their colors are a perfect match for their surroundings. Some stonefish have even been observed with algae growing on them. While this camouflage gives them protection from predators, its main purpose is to allow stonefish to ambush their prey. Stonefish eat other reef fish and some bottom-dwelling invertebrates. Waiting for hours at a time, stonefish strike when their potential prey is less than their body length away. Their powerful jaws and large mouths create so much pressure that they are easily able to suck down and swallow their unsuspecting prey whole. They are dangerous fish. When stepped on, they inject venom through grooves in their dorsal fin spines. Wounds produced by these fish are intensely painful and sometimes fatal. Stonefish are only rarely eaten by people. They are sometimes caught for the private aquarium trade. The electric eel is a knifefish, and is more closely related to catfish, and carp, than to other eel families. The electric eel is one of the main aquatic predators of the South American whitewater flooded forest known as Varzea. It produces a powerful electric shock to stun its prey. The electric eel can grow to 9 feet, and weigh 48.5 pounds. Adult electric eels are carnivores. They eat fish, crustaceans, insects, and small vertebrates, such as amphibians, reptiles and mammals. Juveniles feed primarily on invertebrates, and newly hatched electric eels will eat the remaining, unhatched eggs. The electric eel is a sluggish creature that prefers slow-moving fresh water, where it surfaces every few minutes to gulp air. The water in these areas is poorly oxygenated, but electric eels are specially adapted to thrive in this environment. The mouth of the electric eel is rich with blood vessels that allow it to use the mouth as a lung. The tail region contains the electric organs, which are derived from muscle tissue innervated by spinal nerves. It can discharge 300 to 800 volts, a charge powerful enough to jolt humans. The eel's electrical discharges may be used to keep prey from escaping or induce a twitching response in hidden prey that causes the prey to reveal its position. Female electric eels lay between 1,200 and 1,700 eggs during the dry season. Males construct nests made of saliva, and guard the larvae until the rainy season begins. The average lifespan of electric eels in the wild is still unknown. In human care, males typically live 10 to 15 years, and females generally live 12 to 22 years. Lionfish make up several species of showy Indo-Pacific fishes of the scorpion fish family. They are noted for their venomous fin spines, which deliver a venomous sting that can last for days and cause extreme pain, sweating, respiratory distress and even paralysis. Lionfish venom can sting you even after the fish is dead. Lionfish have enlarged pectoral fins, and elongated dorsal fin spines. Each species bears a particular pattern of bold, zebra-like stripes. When disturbed, the fish spread and display their fins and, if further pressed, will present an attack with the dorsal spines. One of the best-known species is the red lionfish. It is striped with red, brown, and white, and grows to about 12 inches long. The red lionfish is native to South Pacific reef ecosystems. In the early 21st century the species became established in reef ecosystems along the eastern seaboard of the United States, in the Gulf of Mexico, and in the Caribbean Sea. Wildlife managers think that lionfish were deliberately released by pet owners into the ocean along Florida's Atlantic coast starting in the 1980s, but damage to pet stores caused by Hurricane Andrew in 1992 may have also allowed others to escape. Because it reproduces rapidly and has no natural enemies in the region, local reef fish have been killed off. Lionfish are now designated as an invasive species in these areas, and are actively hunted and removed. Because lionfish are venomous, not poisonous, there is no harm in eating the lionfish meat. However, the spines can sting you even after it is dead, so extreme caution must be used. Once you dispose of the spines, you are free to prepare your lionfish as you choose. Prana comprise about 60 species of razor-toothed, carnivorous fish found in South American rivers and lakes. They have a somewhat exaggerated reputation for ferocity. Most species, are scavengers or feed on plant material. Prana grow to about 2 feet long. Colors vary from silvery with orange undersides to almost completely black. These fish have deep bodies, saw-edged bellies, and large, generally blunt heads with strong jaws bearing sharp, triangular teeth that meet in a scissor-like bite. Piranhas range from northern Argentina to Colombia, 
but they are most diverse in the Amazon River, where 20 different species are found. The most infamous is the red-bellied piranha, which has the strongest jaws and sharpest teeth of all. During low water, this species, which can grow up to about 20 inches in length, hunts in groups that can number more than 100. Several groups can converge in a feeding frenzy if a large animal is attacked. Red-bellied piranhas prefer prey that is only slightly larger than themselves or smaller. Generally, a group of red-bellied piranhas spreads out to look for prey. When located, the attacking scout signals the others. This is probably done acoustically, as piranhas have excellent hearing. Everyone in the group rushes in to take a bite and then swims away to make way for the others. The lobe-toothed piranha, which is found primarily in the basin of the Orinoco River and the tributaries of the lower Amazon, and the San Francisco piranha, a species native to the San Francisco River in Brazil, are also dangerous to humans. Most species of piranhas, however, never kill large animals, and piranha attacks on people are rare. Although piranhas are attracted to the smell of blood, most species scavenge more than they kill. Some 12 species, called wimple piranhas, survive solely on morsels nipped from the fins and scales of other fishes, which then swim free to heal completely. The tiger fish is a magnificent predator, endowed with a handsome silver body. It has black stripes, orange-red fins, a forked tail built for speed, and unmistakable large, pointed, razor-sharp teeth that protrude from the mouth when it is closed. They are widely distributed across much of Africa, and are fierce predators. They often hunt in packs and occasionally eat large animals. Attacks on human beings are rare but not unheard of. Their aggression does not hold them back from mauling their own. Smaller tiger fish intruding into the feeding area of their bigger brethren are likely to be eaten. A hooked fish, exhibiting distress, is commonly targeted by others, who will attack it. It is the first freshwater fish to be recorded attacking and catching birds in flight. While African tiger fish don't generally attack humans, they do have a nasty bite so it's best to use a landing net and keep fingers away from snapping jaws. A tiger fish is not only one of the hardest fighting freshwater fish but it is also renowned for its escape tactics and landing rates are invariably low. They can grow up to 3.5 feet and weigh more than 60 pounds. They prefer well oxygenated water and are often found in the river currents. Tiger fish can be eaten, but are very bony and so may need special care in the food preparation. Thank you for coming along with us on this journey, investigating curious and interesting facts about some of the most dangerous fish in the world. Thank you for listening. Have a kiff and clever day.